name is Michael. Uh, people call me Kickstar. Uh, I'm 19 years old, been a gamer for 10 years. Uh, been with the team a couple weeks. I'm from England, was born in England, live in America, California. I just started playing Rainbow Six right out the gate in the beta. Um, you know, it looked like a new, fun, interesting game. I was coming off of a game that I used to play called Warface, uh, which was a real letdown of a game, very disappointing. And I was, you know, just looking for something to fill the void. And I became a professional player because I played the game a lot. I suppose that's how any anybody becomes a professional player. And, you know, one thing led to another. I went from Team Mythic to Team Orbit. And uh, yeah, here we are today in the Pro League. Uh, the beginning of the Pro League was a little bumpy. We started out with a match against VWS and we had a little bit of, uh, I guess, a miscommunication or a scheduling error with ESL. And they had us playing at two in the morning. And uh, we were also playing with a substitute player, which was not by choice. Um, one of our players was having wire issues and it was a real rough go of it, but we've gotten past that since those losses in the in the Pro League to VWS. We have not dropped a single map in any tournament or in the Pro League. And we're really happy, we're on a roll. We're looking forward to taking, in the future, we're looking forward to taking, um, taking it all the way in Pro League, winning all of our uh, matches and going straight to Worlds. That's the hope. I feel like we've been performing really well in the Go For Our Six Cups. Um, you know, we've won most of them. Uh, and I think exactly right as it stands, seven out of the nine total tournaments outside of the Pro League. That's including monthly finals for Go For Our Six. And I feel like we've been replicating that success in the Pro League. I feel like it's been working out really well for us. Definitely every single Pro League match is a lot harder then go for our six matches because they mean a lot more and teams throw out their um, hidden strats and things that they don't show in other places. But overall, I'd say they're pretty much one and the same. The majority of the teams that compete in the Pro League are also competing in go for our sixes and we tend to beat them there as well. I'd have to say in the Pro League specifically, I would say that Team Mythic's probably our biggest rival. They're heavily strat based, I have a good in-game leader, and they're very well organized. And I think over the last few weeks, they've probably been building up a lot more synergy with their latest roster change. And I think that they're gonna, in, in the Pro League, uh, I think they're our second to last matchup. They're probably gonna bring a lot to the table and they'll be quite the obstacle, but we'll see. Uh, outside of the Pro League, I'd say probably ADT or Addiction is our biggest rival. They're a really good team, lots of cool guys, one of the best shield players in the world. And I have to give them props for being uh, one of the better teams in North America. Unfortunately, they're not in the Pro League. I'm the freshest player on the team and I feel like we've all improved a lot as the weeks have gone by. Um, obviously there's a lot of there's a lot of room for improvement for everyone, but no in no particular fashion has any one player like passed the rest of us. We're all pretty much advancing at the same pace as together as a team and I think that's for the best. Um, I think we all learn a lot from each other. Um, and yeah, I look forward to our future together. That's a tricky question because while Europe and can point fingers in North America and say, haha, they suck, we can do the same. We can point fingers at Europe and say, haha, they suck. You know, it, 
the reasoning there is you can only gleam so much information from watching another team play, watching VODs, uh, watching live streams. You can only figure out so much. There's, it's not, unfortunately, we don't have a perfect replay system like in Counter-Strike where you can analyze every player's gameplay 100% of the time. You can only analyze what the VODs, you know, who they choose to watch uh, and so forth. And because of this, it's really a mystery who's going to be successful in the global scale at Worlds, who's really going to bring home the pop. A lot of, you know, a lot of people I know say that we're going to do it, and a lot of people I know in Europe say that uh, someone like Penta or Area Game or Esports are going to bring home the pop, you know, whoever. My point is, is we won't know until we actually plague each other because you're not just dealing with unknowns like for actual players. You're also dealing with totally different metas that are that have evolved in two different directions in a brand new, completely dynamic game that which has mechanics that nobody's ever seen before. It's all up in the air, really, and um, I'm going to be interested to see how our metas handle each other and how we adjust on on the global scale but i have i have a lot of hope for our team i really think that we're gonna bring it and we're gonna win but again you know we won't know until it happens also i would like to thank our sponsors core fx zowie scuff g2a and arazi for all your ongoing support This video is brought to you by G2A.com.